Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth update on my Silent Ops System Victor Secret Colony. As you can see, they've experienced insane growth. I feed them uh, sugar water, as you can see here. I, I like to dye it red, just for the aesthetic effect of it. And I also feed them live mealworms, which you can see here. Uh, they're pretty aggressive, and it does not take long for the mealworms to be dead. Here is a shot of the nest the colony's in. Uh, as you can see, they have a lot of brood and a ton of workers. So this is actually one of the coolest things I think these guys do. You can actually see them chewing the shells off of the mealworms and getting into the, the meat on the inside of the mealworm. They absolutely dogpiled this mealworm as soon as it came into the nest. It was uh, one of the mealworms you saw me feed them in an earlier clip. So this is one of the chambers where they store brood. You can see um, the colony pretty much has like a carpet of larva across the entire nest. And you can see here there's... Um, two pupa closing at the moment that the workers are helping. One of my favorite parts about having such a large colony is seeing workers eat clothes all the time. I think it's so cool that like, they're like, I, I don't know, almost embryos outside of a womb and they're just kind of sitting there and then workers help them eat clothes, essentially they're brothers and sisters. Uh, this is the colonies, they seem to keep a lot of eggs in here. There's probably at least six or seven hundred eggs right there. It was really hard for me to get this on camera because it's a little nook and crevice in the formicarium. But yeah, I think it's cool how they have like different areas of the nest where they keep different kinds of, I guess, brood. This is another chamber in the nest where they seem to keep a lot of pupa. Um, keep in mind though that I couldn't really show even like a quarter of the colony's brood because there's so much. This video would be like 15 minutes long if I were to get like 20 seconds shot of each of each and every piece of brood. So this is the queen. Um, she's quite big. Her gaster is, you'll see in a little bit, it's, it's absolutely massive. Um, when I caught her, her gaster was pretty skinny, but as she lays more and more eggs and her ovaries become more active, they expand, so her gaster gets larger. And you can see there's actually a, a white milky band on it because of how big her ovaries have gotten. And it'll continue to get larger and larger as the colony grows and she needs to lay more eggs. You can also see though that she constantly has about 15 to 20 workers attending to her all the time, cleaning her and feeding her and taking away the eggs that she is laying. She was being quite good for me, she actually stood still for about a minute, but she eventually got sick of me and decided to walk away. You can see really well though when she's moving how like milky white her gaster is, and that's her ovaries in there, creating eggs. This really isn't that important to the video, but I just thought it was cool how you can see the worker like gaster flag in there where they bounce their gaster up and down. Um, this means that they're getting ready to sting and are very agitated. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe.